Hey, I'll be here. I'm just calling because you're scheduled at 7 and it's 7.30 now. Just uh, let me know if you can make it. Like I said, you didn't show up yesterday, so it's just, uh, yeah, let me know if uh, you can come in today. Okay, see ya. Fucking bitch. Hey, wait. Look at me. Girl, you're a concealer. Shit. They be scheduling me too early and shit. You got it. Hey, you going to Ellie's birthday party? Yeah, of course. Who's making beans? Bad though. Oh, hell yeah. We're 86 Canadian bacon. Come on, go. Stand up when you do that, please. I think I was born in the wrong era. What, you wish you were born in the 70s, 80s? No, I should have been born in the ancient times, like with the Mines or Aztecs. I should have been a warrior, like a hunter and gatherer. Those were pure times. You didn't have to clock in for work. You didn't have to deal with stupid customers all day asking you stupid ass questions. You fought and your senses were always heightened. You had to pay attention to shit back then, cause like a saber tooth tiger or some shit could just fuck with you. But like now, how do I become that? What sort of job would I have to have? But that's the thing, I don't wanna have a job. I just wanna roam the land. To me, that's freedom. I don't think they have any college degrees for that though. Fucking Monica. <laughs> Hats. For the baristas? No, for everybody. You serious? Yeah, I gotta wear one too. Why? Why? It's what Sherry wants. There's no fucking way. When do we have to start wearing these? Today. Right now. <laughs> See? This is how they get you. They force you to do all these little shits until eventually you don't think twice about it. You just do it. No questions asked. They don't even ask our opinion first. I'm really about to quit because of this hat. Let's just not wear them. They can't fire all of us. I draw the line at these hats. My hair is too good for this. They want to be jack in the box so bad. Bruh. This is some bullshit. I'm not wearing that shit. But we all have to. No, we don't. If we refuse to wear the hats, then we wouldn't have to. What are they going to do? Fire us? All of us? We need to rise up against these fucking hats. Where are you going? I ain't wearing that shit. This isn't a sweatshop. The least they can do is let me look cute. So you're quitting? Well, they fired me, technically. I won't wear the hats. But what are you gonna do for money? I'll probably go back to my old job. I'm still cool with them. I'll talk to my aunt. I'll figure something out. Maybe I can get more hours. My shifts will be up for grabs. I'll call you later. Stay strong, girl. wake up and drive yourself to work every day. It's getting harder and harder for me just to show up. Well, I take the bus. <sighs> I, you know what actually helps me? Like when I really get to hating my job or like my life in general, I'll sometimes read up on like medieval forms of torture. So like there's one where, you know, they put this guy on this big wooden spike, I guess, right? And he's got he's to gotta sit on it. So when he starts to struggle or whatever, because like the thing is up his ass, and it just slowly starts to impale him. Oh God. <laughs> It's fucked up. There's this other one where like, they put a rat on your stomach and, and then they put a cage over the rat and they put some like flames or some shit on top of the cage. And you know, the rat doesn't want to burn alive. So it just like burrows itself into your stomach and your stomach's all shredded. I'm gonna get a beer in my break. You want one? Bruh, it's 8 a.m. All right, fuck it. How much do you need? Nah, don't worry about it. You're the homegirl, I got you. 